When you're number one and you're the best in the world, it doesn't matter where you come from. One punch can change everything. In your last fight, you tore your labrum. And uh, you had surgery. It was on your right shoulder. Yeah. Tell us, what's the condition of it? After the fight, I have a, I have a big pain uh, on my shoulder. And uh, we make an MRI. Sure. And after that, we decide we need to make surgery. During his last fight, uh, he subluxed uh, the shoulder, the, actually the ball dislocated over the edge of the socket and, and uh, relocated. We know that he's uh, enormously strong. Some of it has to do with the force of his punch and the rest of it is just because of th that uh, sudden happenstance where the resisting force from the other fighter just caught his arm in the right way that, that all that force then translated up to the shoulder. I felt a pain but then I repeat the same right hook, the same punch. I understand, oh, maybe it's done in this, in this fight. I can't use my right hook. I come to my corner, I explain my father, and he told me, hey, oh, no problem. You have a feet, you have another, another, uh, another hand. I was, I was ready mentally for, 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 for this situation. My, my, my ego, I don't like a lose. I don't like it. It's painful enough that uh, you'd, you'd be reluctant to use the, the arm initially you really take a step back and, and wonder how somebody could have had that and, and then kept, kept on fighting um, uh, for the duration that he did and come out of it with a victory. You're known for your speed, you're known for your elusiveness, you're known for your intellect, you're known for your combinations, your feet. But in this fight, it's your mental toughness. And we don't talk about that a lot of times with a fighter like you. Where does that come from? I think it's, it's a job my father. That's why, that's why I was prepared for this fight. I, I don't have a pain, I don't. Because you know, even though your shoulder popped out and then popped back in, and yeah. even though there was pain, and even though you couldn't use your right hook, you knew there was another way. Yeah, if you stop in the ring, you need to finish your fight. You need to finish. And one thing, what you, didn't didn't think it's uh, not quiet that's it and your father taught you that yeah you can lose of course you can lose on a score you can lose knockout but you can't give in no oh he's discouraging oh, i can do anything in this ring absolutely no what you trying to do this is a fighter in complete control each and every time he's out there. Maybe mocking him with his wide punches there a little bit. You make fighters do something that no fighter should ever do. Give in. Quit. How does Vasily Lomachenko take men's souls? A plan on the fight. I think because they are not ready for long distance. But you're doing it not to normal guys. I come with uh, three or four plans on the, re on, the, on the fight. I think then they are coming in the ring. They are, have had only one plan. I need to win and I, I go in the ring like a winner. Don't they go in the ring as a winner? They're undefeated, champions. They never lost before. You need to be a realistic. I, I can't explain you because it was their choice. The fighter of the year, whose last four opponents have quit on their stool. That's it. He is saying I don't want any more. Are you kidding me? He's gonna stop it. He's seen enough. That is it. Fight is over. It's all over. He quit. He, he quit. I can feel 
He every can't round, hit you. I can't. When you say I yes, can't feel, he yes, can't hit you. Yes, every round he understand this, and every round he lose hope. Yes. That's a universal word in yeah. Russian, English, <laughs> anything. Hope is very important, and you take hope away from people. Maybe because they are not ready for this.